This is Laura GB on day 11 of my 12 days of components. And today we're going to look at drawing a gauge to show like on a fuel gauge or a speedometer maybe. And so here's an example of what we're going to be drawing. I'm just going to explain how we're going to do it. So firstly, we're going to draw the blue arch, which is nice and simple. And then we're going to draw a black line at the bottom left. And the next stage to show the how far around the gauge we're going to be, we're going to use rotate to rotate that line around to the right point. So there we are using 60% again. We, and it's 180 to do the full half circle. So therefore, the amount we rotate is 180 times that score value of 0.6, 60%. So let's get on and create a component with some SVG. So here we are in the app from yesterday, okay, with our two hearts and our two sets of stars. So we're going to go straight to components and we're going to add a new component and let's rename that component to be day 11 gauge and so the difference today is it's not a square component it's going to be a rectangular so the width can stay at 640 but the height is going to be half of that so 320 so there we go we've got our component we're then going to add in a an image and sure enough it's going to be zero zero on the x and y and the width is going to be the parent dot width and the height is going to be the parent dot height so there we are our image fills our whole component so then we're going to put in our svg code for this so let's click on image and expand that down a little bit so as before we're going to start with a with function and let's have an empty json string let's move that cursor out the way and into the second half of the with we are going to put in a quick template for our svg a quick copy and paste of that code there we go shift return put another round bracket to close off the width, do a format text, and there we are nicely laid out. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put in the code for our arch. Now we're going to put it as a variable. I'm cheating slightly because I know what's coming tomorrow. So this is going to be SVG arch. And let's put in a colon. And again, we're going to copy and paste that code into here so there we go and let's put in a group and it's going to have a fill equal to light blue let's close that down close the string put in an ampersand put in our svg arch and put another ampersand in some quotes and let's close off that tag so then let's have a quick look and there we are we've got our arch but it's not filling the whole thing i've made a mistake in the sizing so if we're just going to have a look back into here my view box is the standard i've been using all the time which is naught naught hundred hundred a square so I wanted to keep it 100 wide but we're going to change that 100 there to be a 50 and now if I come back in there we go my arch fills the whole component the next part we are going to do is we're going to draw the line okay if you remember we draw a line in the bottom left so let's put in that line code into here we're going to go line now lines in SVG have a X1 which shows you the beginning of the line 
and that's starting in the bottom in the, on the left, so that's zero, and a y1, and it's bottom left, so that is the maximum y can be, which is 50. And then we are go then we do the other end of the line, so that is x2. And we want it to go 20 in because our arch is 20 wide. And our y2, now it's a horizontal line, so the y is exactly the same. It's going to be a 50. And then we can put in our stroke width. Now our stroke width is going to be a 1. So just one pixel wide. If it's, okay, one unit wide, it's not actually pixels. Because as you resize, it just gets bigger or smaller. And we're going to make that line, oh, not blick. Let's make it black. And then close off that line with a forward slash greater than. And there we are. We've got our black line in the bottom left-hand corner here. So the next part we want to do is we want to rotate it. Now, before we can do that rotation, we need to come in to our um, component and we need to add a new custom component. And we're going to, as we have in our recent apps, call it score. And our description is a score percentage, can't spell. And it's going to be a number. And then we click create. So now let's go back into our SVG and do a calculation of what we want our rotation to be. So I'm going to put in this as my SVG rotate and a colon. Now, if you remember in our diagram, we said it was going to be 180 times the score, so the 60%. So there we go, our parent dot score. So that hasn't done anything yet because you haven't applied it. The, what we're going to rotate is this line here. So let's do a shift return there. Now we're going to do a transform. And the transform is a string. So put two single quotes in. And then inside this string, we write the function rotate. Yes, yeah, a little weird. I'll give you that. Um, so, but in there, I want to slot in using closing the string, putting in some ampersands, the SVG rotate. And then the other two parameters that are needed for a rotate is where is it going to rotate via. So let's just go inside those quotes. Now this is the middle. So you want this to be the middle of our, the bottom edge of our arch. So, but in the middle of it. So that's 50 on the X axis, halfway long. And then the maximum, because you want it on the bottom edge, the maximum for the Y is another 50. Now if we go and have a look, that doesn't appear to have worked. Wait a second, we've forgotten to do something. I know what it is. If we go back into here and we look at the score, it's still at 100. It's at the default. So let's change that to our 0 0.6. And there we go. Our line has rotated. And if I change that, the line moves beautifully around. So let's go back into our screen and zoom out a little bit. And we're going to go from the insert, we're going to go to custom, and we're going to bring, oh, let's scroll down a bit, go find it, they are day 11 gauge. Let's bring it over here, let's make it a little bit smaller. So, let's make the score to be our slider score divided by 100. And let's press play. And there we go. We can move it and watch our score be shown on the gauge. So that was day 11, drawing a gauge. Tomorrow is our final day of the components and we will have an improved gauge. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.